Hey, what is going on YouTube? Hacker Triple Seven here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to screen record on WhatsApp or take a screenshot. So for the purpose of this video, I'll be using WhatsApp business and I'll be doing this on my computer. Now, this is one of the important steps. As you know, you can link WhatsApp to your PC and this can be done using Android Windows subsystem for Android or Windows subsystem for Linux and getting Android applications installed on your PC. But I will not go into the fine details of this. You could also use Android emulators to get this installed and up and running. So once you have the WhatsApp on your device and linked to your WhatsApp on your phone, what you'd need to do is to enable the root permissions. Now, once you enable the root permissions, there are multiple tutorials out there has to how to do that so once you enable that permission you would be able to start the process now i'm going to send a picture here um let me look for one all right so i'm going to send it as view once and as you can see i received a picture here as view once now typically when you go ahead and try the screenshot you would get a blank screen so let's select the photo to load it up and on your computer, you can press print screen or you can hold shift windows key and S. Now that will bring up the snipping tool and you can go ahead and just select the area of the screen, which you'd want to save. Now, once that is done, you'll get a little notification here from the snipping tool application. You could tap on it and save this image anywhere you'd like. So that's just the synopsis or overview as to how to be able to screen record or screenshot WhatsApp you want using your computer. Now, as I've said, you could install an Android emulator and get WhatsApp installed. And this process should work as well using the computer's snipping tool to um, take a screen grab. Now, the device should be rooted. Now, that's a little bit of disclaimer. The device should be rooted and you should disable secure flags. Now that is another tutorial in and of itself. You could read about it and see how persons go ahead and disable the secure flags. But this is just an overview. You could do this. Once you load it into the emulator, you could take the screenshot, right? So you don't need to have secure flags disabled. So thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Hackership 07 out.